Howdy folks, welcome back to Thunderdome Homestead. Uh, it's a mighty chilly one this morning. About, uh, I think we're sitting at about 40 degrees here at around 10 o'clock. Uh, not quite 10, <sighs> you see my breath. But yeah, it's pretty cold. And uh, I think that's the topic of today's discussion is every year I talk to you guys about you know, trying to be two seasons ahead is what I like to do two seasons ahead so uh, if you're in winter you're prepping for summer if you're in spring you're prepping for fall if you're in summer you're prepping for winter it's just kind of one of them things um, but seeing as we got snow on Halloween here and it's gotten this cold this fast tells me that we're gonna have kind of a cold nasty winter add to that the fact that now some of you may call this superstition I don't know but uh, anybody that's from around here knows the woolly bear caterpillars or some people call them woolly worms and sometimes they can be thought of as a gauge to what your winter weather is going to look like for the year. And I seen a couple of them earlier this year and they were all black. So the more black they have, the worse your winter is going to be. The more brown they have, the more mild your winter is going to be. And so far, most of what I've seen is black. So. Not to mention the Farmer's Almanac and several other trusted sources are all saying that this year is going to be a bad winter. So I, I desperately, desperately hope that you guys have prepared ahead of time. Because not only if you're buying fuel and stuff to stay warm now, not only is it going to be less available, but it's also going to be more expensive. And... If you would have bought it in the summer months or early fall, you would have saved a bunch of money and you'd have probably been able to get more of it. So uh, the homestead heats with firewood. So we are still working on that. That is still something that you know we can get for free if we absolutely need to. It just takes getting out there and doing a little bit of work. Uh, but uh, you definitely want to have some backups like uh, the little buddy propane heater uh, I've talked about that before uh, kerosene heaters are really good although right now they're probably getting pretty dang hard to find along with the fuel for them because you want K1 kerosene and uh, a lot of people I know they'll go to Walmart or somewhere and they'll go ahead and grab the one gallon jugs of that for like 10 20 bucks it's just in, insanity find you a gas station locally that sells kerosene at a pump specifically for kerosene you'll pay half the price uh, you just need to go get those uh, blue gas cans that are rated for kerosene anyhow that being said we're coming into winter it's definitely time to prep for winter if you aren't already which you should have been um, and just do what you can to stay warm uh, keep your fuel tanks topped off uh, if I were you I would keep uh, some water and food rations if you don't already in your vehicle along with your winter supplies so if you get snow where you're at you're gonna want like some cat litter and a shovel and stuff like that to dig yourself out if you get stuck uh, you also want some form of heat source so you can take like a ceramic pot and a candle or something to that effect and, and that will radiate a little bit of heat. Uh, you just got to be really, really, really careful that way. Uh, you don't want to do anything that is going to create uh, carbon monoxide and end up uh, just passing away from the fumes of that. Um, and, and most of all, I'd recommend a 32 zero uh, 20 degree sleeping bag something to that effect 
we have zero degree sleeping bags that I have recently put into our vehicles in the event that uh, you know something happens and uh, we need warmth. So uh, those are all things I would recommend you doing. Anyhow, if you guys got something out of this, do me a favor: like, share, subscribe, and I will talk to you later. I got chicken to smoke. I'll talk to you soon.